Welcome back to Victoria, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And you are still playing with Copper. Uh, I'm, I'm done, hopefully. The, done. the entire Copper mine Fantastic. is covered. Uh, there's a, a little bit of power missing there. Let's that. Boom. Cool. Uh... Well, I'm, I'm done covering the copper mine. I am not done connecting it up or doing anything like that with it. Uh, the only thing that's missing is a little bit in the centre here where this rover port is, but... Yeah. No. Nah. So be it. I'm just going to just stay like that for the minute, so... Yeah. And should we need that little bit? We shall have to get it later. Oh, and there's a little tiny bit down there. Oh, no. I missed about 500 copper. Oh, no. Oh, no. How will we ever manage... It's going to be tough. It is. But uh, I'm sure we will find a way to come together and uh, yeah, we'll pull through. We'll, we'll pull through. I think I need to pull apart this. Right. So all I need to do is figure out how to get the copper from here down to there. As well. We have these wonderful things called trains. Yeah, it's gotta go. Gotta go, go fast. Uh, no, it's gotta go away. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so if we want. Three trains here. Stop trying to give it to me. I can't hold a double. I don't want it. Uh, I don't have any train stop. Damn it. Come on. Let's go and get a train stop. Because I've left some popped around the place that are required. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. No, no, click. Uh, go to the north stop. Go train, go. My personal train. I should really paint this train, shouldn't I? Let's paint it blue. 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 There we go. I think our robots are lacking somewhere to store the items that they're picking up. I think oh, the entire storage thing is full, maybe. Uh, oh, possibly. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was there a little while ago. Oh, it seems like they're going. Where is it? It just takes a while for them to. Where is it? There, there's the storage. Storage chest. No, I think there's plenty of space in the storage chests. Yeah. They're just trying to figure everything out and. Uh... Yeah. Because it's not just the things they have to pick up, is it? It's the contents of them as well. Yeah. One of them has 2.4k uranium or something in it. Uh, okay. Oh. Sorry, Iron Train. I was blocking the way. So all that is going away. Okay. So I need to do that. Would you be terribly upset if I tore down all the chemical stuff over here? Uh, I would. I would be in tears. You would. <laughs> Damn it! Press number. Right, that turns red. Yes, that works. Good. Uh, no, I suppose we could tear it down because I was going to do that this episode, but I need to finish the copper mine off first. So yeah. So, let's get all of this down. So there. There. Put it out. Four train. I don't want it. Help. Go away. Thank you. I'll put a rail stop there. 
think that allows you four trains. Let's tear down these as well. I know, I know, I have too much stuff on me. Um, let's put you away. Let's put some of you away. Yeah, right, so yeah, you'll go down there. You, yeah, okay. So that's all good. I don't want you. 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 Right, and uh. Don't want you. Don't want you. Right, uh, let's have a look see here. Where is our one of our copper trains I would steal for a moment? You. There is a lot of robot activity here, that's crazy. It's a lot of sulfuric acid that we're going to lose, but so be it, right? Yeah, we can move that all down. I just need to remember how it all goes together. Yeah, so there, there's a storage of 25,000 sulfuric acid that we're going to lose, but there isn't really anything we can do about it. No, no, that's all right. We, we, we've got plenty of oil, so I did actually turn the oil train off, so. Oh, okay. It's just part part there not moving at the moment. Okay. I don't actually see any more oil on the map though, so eventually we'll have to go find some, I think. Maybe. Make a little oil outpost somewhere. Uh, hopefully somewhere. You don't have power, so you're never going to get removed. Okay. Uh, right. Turn all that out as well. Uh, right, so... If we run belts up to there. Alrighty. Well, I am going to put Can down some more storage chests over here because I do think they're filling up. Even though we just agreed that they weren't, but I actually think they are. Well, they weren't when I just had a quick look uh, on the map. I could see the, the inventory looks okay, but that does not necessarily mean they aren't. They aren't going to. No, exactly. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I, I don't suppose you've got a blueprint for a, a, a nine way sorter, have you? No. Damn it. <laughs> I don't. A nine way sorter then splits into four. That's what I need. That's nine to four. <laughs> That sounds very complicated. I'm not even sure my eight to four is going to work at all, but well, as intended, but it'll do something. Well, let's just do this the easiest way. Green. 
that one down. Wrong. Putting that one down. Peer one of these. Oh. Mm, yeah. Never mind, it probably works. Alright, how are we doing for space up here now? It's looking pretty good. Now, I might have just taken out all the oil supply for the flame turrets. I think I have. I'll fix that later. Uh, I think the oil supply is on the other side. It's not at the top. So yeah, maybe. Uh, but, but there's... Yeah, the, uh, the actual the flame turret supply is on the right-hand side of the oil train. Okay. Yeah, that's all all doing everything there for it and then being sent off what you're doing what you've removed there is plastic and sulfur and mm -hmm. all that jazz okay what is this tank doing here then sorry box sorry oh, well. So, if we do one of these there, and no, not there, Going to have four in line. Just that one band not being used, which is in. fine. We won't worry about that one band. Okay, we'll do the four lines coming in here. So I suppose the best way to do it is to do another roundabout, right? Actually, we could use this roundabout. Oh, I've got roundabouts all over the place here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a roundabout next to a roundabout. Because one goes down, one goes up, and they need to be offset, so. Yeah. Right. Okay, so what I need to do now is, I suppose, make another train or two. I suppose we could do that. But we also need uh, a better pickup. And then have them coming in from there. And going up up there. Hello. Hello. So I was thinking that for iron uh, plate pickup, we could have the trains coming in here and then have them going out, out up top somewhere. Because we already had the roundabout here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Re realistically, I need to change this top part here to a roundabout as well. Yeah. I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to go and have a look at what I need to do for the chemical plant zone. Okay. So, this will be the entry point. Right here. Uh, aha. 
Okay, so it looks like it completely drained of oil, this system. Awesome. Is that right. enough space? That's more than enough space. So. I also want to move out uranium as well at some point in the near future. Let's go and have a look. See, I should have, but not enough space. Right, train, personal train, come here. <laughs> do you need to stop walking everywhere? That's what I need to do. Just to... um, although space. my train will need fueling very soon, so four lines coming in. And we need to load. So I'm going to move this. I think in order to free up a little bit of space, I'll only do one row of chests instead of two like we normally do. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I, I, I think one row is well enough anyway because yeah. the trains only load at a certain speed. Whoa. Oh yeah, I desperately need some. Let's go to there. Okay. But of course we need. Hope I don't run out of fuel. Waiting first, so. But let's figure out. Let's figure out the height, then we can do the rest. So F F to get out of the vehicles. There. Damn it. Uh. There. My my trade is extra healthy on the environment. It only uses coal. Ah, oh, good train. Yep. You're still very full. Why are you still very full? Because you're going nowhere. Is that right? right so that's the height we need. Alright. Uh, yeah, you're going nowhere. Okay. And then we need the same height. On the other side, so we'll do there and there. Right, so. That that there around about really. Actually. My God is this confusing. And then we need like that. What's confusing? Uh well where I'm stood. The amount of signals and lines crossing and I don't know what. Where are you? Uh, next to the uranium and coal. Uh, there. Ah. You find that confusing, do you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I find it so confusing, I've got to pull it out and put a roundabout in. Yeah. Seems, seems reasonable to me. <laughs> so let's do. Uh, that. So there's going to be another rail. Whoa. Yeah, put a rail about uh, up there. And I know I need to pull out all of this again, but it'll work for now. 
just to find out the correct spacing. So then we'll do that goes on there. We'll do that. And we'll do oh. okay. that. No, we'll try on the left still that's also good one. And then we'll do one more. I really should just do the whole setup, shouldn't I? So that I can just paste it in. Well, it's too late for that now. Uh, I'll do that later. There. Which means we need a... Rail here. So how am I gonna get that in? This is no longer required. That's a very good question. How the heck? Why isn't that hooked up? Right, uh, left hand side, come up, go around, go okay. that way, come up, go around, go that way, come back down, connect onto there. That has to go up there. Well, this is just for the spacing, so we can do like that. Yep. That's the spacing there. Okay. So that would make for three iron stocks here that are loaded from both sides. I think that'll do. So let's tear this out. Okay, right, that should be working. All right, our coal. Where is our coal train? Uh, there. I don't suppose coal train is really being used that much, is it? Uh, not that much. No. Uh, it's mainly for grenades, mm. I guess. Oh, oh no, that's copper. That's what it's made. Uh, it has a coal train. 600 there, 1200 there. Okay, so it's going to be empty in a moment. So, you know what? Come on, come back to the coal pickup. Tell me you at least still work. A train there. Wow. <laughs> So that's the three... Coal trains are very slow compared to the other ones for some reason. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's because it's running on coal. It shouldn't be, but I will check that when it arrives here. Okay, so you go round and round about, up there, up there, and then you're good, you stop, okay, you're happy. It should be running on a... No, it's running on solid fuel like every, every other okay. vehicle. How yeah. bizarre. I don't know, it, just, it just, compared to the other trains that were driving around, it seems slower. Hmm. That one. This is going to be a little bit weird. Oh no, look at all the beautiful trees. Uh, that's just coal, coal, which is copper. 
So, come off here. Let's come off here, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, that uh, works. Lord, looks strange. Cool. Ah, uh, I need to figure out where the, uh... Hmm. Where the roboports are supposed to be going. Just to make things, I get make sure I get things correct. Mm -hmm. right, so we need I need three rail stops. I do have that. That's we uh right uh go back up there then. Let's see where the rubber ports are supposed to be, <clears throat> so I can get things all lined up perfectly and then start moving the. Uh, 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 what's that stuff called? Wheel. Start moving the oil down here. That's what I'm oh, the black stuff. Yes, black gold. That's the. Yeah. Okay. okay. They're all put in just old, any old hell, just to cover. Uh, so. Have done that, I guess. Uh, that's a turret, that's not a roboport. Ah, so the roboport should be quite literally the other side of the track, just the left hand side of the track. So they line up perfectly. Okay. With the grid. Uh, and they should also come down a bit, but I'm not all that fussed about that because I don't know if we've been. Yeah. Let's turn that out and put in the rail signal there. And then we have the stop. Okay. And that works for me. Train stop. Real signal. And then we just run straight up from here. And put a real signal in there. And I suppose we might as well do the same for the next. There. I really do wish that uh, rubber ports would work the same as power cables. You can just click and hold and they spread out perfectly. Yes, that would be really nice. So there's our rail stops. Um, let's turn off some of this stuff. Well, I can't see a damn thing there. Uh, there. Oh, and I've run out of. Robot port. No. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, we need to switch this into a roundabout. Well, I could. We're driving left side, so that be like this. Uh, but I actually want, I think I'll make it a little bit longer so that I can put it here. Expanding the grid. <laughs> so much rubber port coverage required. Yeah. So little rubber, so, so little rubber ports. <laughs> This actually means that maybe we can make it so there can wait be one more train waiting. Don't know. So this definitely needs to come around like this somehow. Which again looks weird, but 
works. You sounded just like a villager then from Minecraft. Really? I said this, hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. And then we can put... Okay. Uh, I think that'll do. Moving the rover ports over just a little tiny bit is annoying. But mm. kind of needed because they weren't... They weren't working properly. Mm. Ow. Do... Okay. So that's where it is. And it's, it's typical, isn't it? Where, where we've put the rover ports, they're so close to where they should be. They're just like one or two squares out. Yeah. <laughs> it is typical. That one should be there. It is literally like three squares over where these, these rubber ports put in. Just just move them across the three and down three, and they're in the right place. Yeah. Of course. Figures, yeah. But uh, I think we're going to have to come back next episode and do this, because uh, oh. well, we, we have hit the time mark. Okie dokie. I guess we shall have to do really, that. It's really weird i'm like oh i just put down some of these it'll only take a minute or so you glance over it's been it's been like well it was 16 minutes recording when i started moving the rubber ports <laughs> and now it's 30. yeah yeah, yeah. things yeah. take longer time than you think they do indeed they do indeed all right uh i'm gonna try and work through this for it I'm not going to destroy the trees. I'm going to be friendly and. That's not going to last very long, is it? Uh, most likely not, no. Well, I just thought, you know, putting a place that burns crude oil right next to a forest seemed like a great idea. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. But, yeah, I guess we are at time, as you uh, mentioned. Yep. I might actually have to go back and watch some of these previous episodes to remember what the ratio is for uh, crude oil yep. down to... I know we figured it out back then, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. So, yeah. Well... Oh, geez. Wow, the amount of petroleum we were making was unbelievable. And we're making quite a bit, right? Yeah. I span this out. I think I'm going to try and put a storage tank on the outside of every single uh, chemical plant. Mm -hmm. For the raw fuels, anyway. So each one would have its own storage tank. Yeah. That sounds and, uh, like a good plan. Then we've always got a spare. Yeah. Just... All right, but I guess we really should call it. Yes, yes, that would make sense. So, yeah. 
So thank you very much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have fun.